I would trade this microphone. If I didn't have the U87, this would be the main Neumann microphone here in my home studio. And shout out to Grammy Award winning engineer Keisha Lee for her contributions to this industry. She's worked with everyone from Gucci Mane to Childish Gambino, Pharrell Williams, Lil Uzi Vert, Migos, like shout out to her. Oh, and these, these are some of Lil Uzi Vert's favorite microphones. Lil Uzi Vert is no stranger when it comes to creating hit records and just being on the scenes being Lil Uzi Vert, which I think is awesome. There's nothing like artists being able to creatively be themselves and put out music while doing it and inspiring people around the world. But what is behind that signature sound? We've done our investigation and we've actually found one of Lil Uzi Vert's vocal chain. And as I said once before, shout out to Keisha Lee putting this information out there. And his vocal chain is a whopping ten thousand plus dollars what's up welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my home studio i am your host archie beats and today we have one of lil uzi vert's vocal chain also you guys are actually listening to lil uzi vert's the emulated and plug-in universal audio version of the vocal chain which we are discussing as we move through this video artists change up their vocal chain it happens they want a different sound they feel more inspired by a different microphone it can be a more expensive microphone it can be a less expensive microphone Microphone, which is the case in this video today and it's very shocking and this vocal chain was specifically mentioned for Lil Uzi Vert's How To Talk and question what is your current vocal chain and what is your dream vocal chain and who vocal chain should I do next comment it below and today the vocal chain that we are referring to is the capturing process the recording vocal chain how did Keisha Lee capture Lil Uzi Vert's vocals but we're also going to talk about a few plugins that Keisha used as well and if you're new to my channel and you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you won't miss another video. And as I mentioned in other videos, we have to start giving these engineers and producers their flowers because they are working hard out here. It takes a special skill to listen to an artist and work with them and be able to capture their idea in collaboration with them and creating something that you all are proud of and putting it out there to the world. It's a brave thing to do. As we go through each piece of the vocal chain, the microphone preamp, compressor, I'm gonna let you all know why I think they chose that particular piece of gear. And then I'm gonna give you inexpensive options and never fear, I will have everything listed in the description below. So be sure to check that out as well. So according to one of Keisha articles in Sound on Sound, which I will list below in the description down there, the first part of the vocal chain <laughs> is surprisingly the Norman U87, which is my first dream mic and still my current, one of my current main microphones. This microphone is $3,600 with the, of course, with the actual shock mount, the cable and the jewel box. So when I got the opportunity to invest in it, I, out and paid for it and got it and i don't regret it i've been using it for some years now awesome microphone i can tell you right now with the norman u87 the clarity right up top that nice 10k boost is there the detail the information is being captured it's a great hot microphone it, it captures an amazing signal if you have a dynamic singer or if you have a dynamic rapper this will catch it it's a really clean transparent microphone with a little character so i totally understand why and here's a very interesting part she said we briefly used the u87 when we got back from la because that was mean street studio shout out to mean street studios never been down there but i've heard so much about it i have to definitely make my way down there one day but uzi likes the norman tlm 103 i actually own this microphone as well right here the norman tlm 103 a third of the price it's 1100 for this microphone now the difference is this is a transformerless microphone my opinion is not as hot a preamp treats it real nice it's a great microphone i wouldn't trade this microphone if i didn't have the u87 this would be the main neumann microphone here in my home studio and great sounding mics now if you notice what's in front of me here this is 38 microphones this is the universal audio sphere which is 1500 and this is the dlx but the lx has 20 microphones in it, including all of these and models it. The microphones aren't in it, but this mic modeling system actually emulates the microphone. And what makes this mic so special as far as emulation is that it picks up the entire room. It picks up at the back of the diaphragm and at the front. Um, you get your signal going in, but it also, in order to do the true emulation of a microphone, this is just the way physics work. In order to truly emulate 
mimic, however you want to put it, something like an electrostatic microphone, it has to capture the environment as well that it's in so it could properly emulate. You have to know how it respond and react in the environment. This has to be captured. The information has to be there. And this is a honestly one of the truest emulators on the market mic modeling system, my opinion number one and i'm not being paid to do that but yeah i stand by that you have your entire mic locker right here if you want physical the actual microphones you can do that too and the next part of the vocal chain is the preamp of course and it is the make a guess it's the avalon 737 correct terminology vt 737 sp mic pre and she specifically said mic pre she didn't use the compressor part of it because she has another compressor on the other end which we're about to get to after we discuss this preamp the rapper preamp the jay-z preamp channel strip the 737 is an entire it's a channel strip compressor and the preamp i guarantee you majority of all of your favorite hip-hop songs were recorded with the 737 i guarantee it <laughs> and i understand why the clarity of the pre the hotness of the pre is there and one of the cool things about the avalon is that it doesn't tear your mic signal up it doesn't take away from the microphone characteristics it boosts it and gives it a little additional character to let you know that the 737 is right there in the chain somewhere which is is great straight to the point pre now we do have options instead of forking out three four thousand dollars for this channel strip the 737 channel strip with pre and compressor hey universal audio has one I haven't really seen or heard anything that sound like it. You guys are listening to it now. We can turn the gang down. We can turn it up. We can do whatever. I don't want to turn on the compressor, but I'm actually using the software, the emulated version of it from Universal Audio, cut down price significantly, and it does its job, true to the Avalon essence. And I'm using it as a unison pre as well. So next, they went from the pre of the 737SP to the Tube Tech CL1B. You guessed it, used by Beyonce, used by Jay-Z, everybody out there, <laughs> Nicki Minaj, everybody out there, Juice World, and once again, the Tube Tech optical CL1B compressor, it doesn't destroy the signal. It serves as a nice glue. I always say it, but people say, hey man, what does you mean by it? It's a, it's a non-invasive compressor. It's subtle, it's there, especially when it's used properly. And you have a nice mic signal with a talented artist, of course, in front of it, going to the preamp, preamp set properly, and you're good to go. The doll that she used was Pro Tools, and she's a very organized session here. You guys see this beautiful organized session. I love this. Shout out to Clean Pro Tools Sessions, and you can find everything there, very organized. And nothing like an, an engineer that's recording and then mixing. Definitely use auto-tune. Um, detailer. I don't see too many people use the RN Digital Detailer. Um, it made his vocal sound fuller and wider. That's awesome. And I see the Nomad Factory. She used a lot of plug Very unique plug-in selection here. Um, that's really cool. And I, like I said, I'm having everything listed in the description below. So y'all be sure to check the description below. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. So if you guys have any questions about Lil Uzi Vert's vocal chain, be sure to comment it below. And also who vocal chain should I do next? You guys have been absolutely awesome. Don't forget. Go out there, create something that you're proud of, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and so you won't miss any videos like this. So don't forget to be great and create. This is your Barcha Beats, and I'm signing off.